Hi, I'm Mr. Taylor. Hi, I'm Mrs. Clipper. We're the STEM coordinators here at the Flood Control District of Maricopa County. And we're here to teach you about flash flooding in Maricopa County, and we're going to use our flood simulation model to do that. We are going to make it rain. We're going to make it rain three times in three different scenarios. Some people might ask, why do we need flood control in Maricopa County? We're a desert. We need flood control because it does rain here. It does flood during monsoon season. When is monsoon season? Between July and September. So during monsoon season, we do have storms that drop a lot of water in a short amount of time. So thankfully we are here. We're going to show you how we keep you safe. All right, you ready to make it rain? Let's make it rain. This is our rainmaker. It's going to simulate how we make it rain in Maricopa County. This is going to simulate our natural environment. Our natural environment is our salt, sand, soil, dirt, mud, grass, the little bit we have of it. It's going to show how the natural environment absorbs the rain and sends it downstream. So we're going to make it rain together. And you will notice as it rains, we have a nice little monsoon storm. Lots of water, short amount of time. The water comes down. It absorbs into that natural environment and stays in the natural waterway like it's supposed to, keeping you safe. However, a lot of people found out about Maricopa County and how awesome we are and wanted to move here. And when people move here, what do they do, Donnell? They build things like impermeable structures, which is an example of this. It's a hardened structure where water is just going to slide right off. Those are your houses, your parking lots, your roadways, your favorite restaurant, anywhere fun you want to be, we go there. And what ends up happening is we place that over a natural environment. And Mrs. Clipper, what happens when we place it over the natural environment? Well, if you recall, we use the sponges to simulate the natural environment because they absorb the water. If we cover that natural environment, there's nowhere for the water to go except, let's see. This is my favorite part. You guys ready? Again, a lot of water, short amount of time, nothing to absorb that water, and we have a flood, not safe. It causes damage to vehicles, damage to cars, loss of life, unfortunately. So one of our issues that we find is that we have what we call flash floods, and it takes about six inches of fast moving water to pick up a person. Doesn't matter how tall you are, how big you are, I need you to stay inside. It takes six to 12 inches to pick up a car, truck, or SUV, and about 12 to 24 to pick up a semi. So there's a flash flood warning, do not go outside. So. We've already run our, run our second simulation of how it happens with impermeable surfaces, and now we're gonna show you what happens next. So what do we do to mitigate flooding in the county? So to keep you safe, the county has hundreds of structures all over Maricopa County, structures like dams, levees, and we're gonna show you an example of a basin. So a basin in your neighborhood, I know you've seen them and now you're never gonna be able to unsee it, is those dips in the ground where the ground gets uh, lower and the water collects when it rains. So that is called a basin. They're usually dual purpose. So in your neighborhood, that might look like a park, a sports field, when it rains, those fill up. We are gonna show you how they fill up and then we're gonna talk a little bit about that water in that basin. So as I place the basin in, you're gonna notice that, like Mrs. Clipper said, they fill up. We're gonna put our hardened surfaces, our roadways, our houses right on top of the basin. And we're gonna run it one more time. So now the water has a place to go. It's still gonna run off those hard surfaces. We need our parking lots. We need our streets. So the water's gonna run off of that hard surface into the basin. The basin's gonna capture that water and it's going to come out very nice and slowly. Why does it come out nice and slow? Because we're using what we call an outlet channel. So normally, this is a great example of it. Flood control holds the water back and then we release it out in short bursts to control the flow so there's no damage to life or property. When the water collects in that basin, in the park by your house, in the green belt, it's gonna be very tempting to wanna to play in that water, especially since monsoon season is during the summer when it's hot. You might see other people playing in that water. You will know now that that water is extremely dirty. It has everything that just ran off of the hard impermeable surface, everything that could be on the streets, pesticides, dirt, soil, gas, and it is not safe to play in. You could end up extremely sick and in the hospital. One of the issues that we find is that it draws what we call critters. These critters are snakes mosquitoes and scorpions. So if there is ever a time you want to play inside these basins, don't wait for it to drain out and then do a good check of the area to make sure that you don't hurt yourself. If you happen to be a KA educator, teacher, or a district STEM um, curriculum specialist, we do bring this lovely flood control model out to your classroom. And we also offer a K-8 standards-based curriculum. What can we do in the classroom for the teachers, Dono? A lot of it's project-based learning. It's hands-on. 
it is engaging and it's an opportunity of free resources. We provide all the materials. You don't have to print anything out. You don't have to bring anything. We'll review what's gonna happen. And we're gonna come in and help co-teach. It is an opportunity for your kids to learn about what's going on in their own world and show how they can impact it themselves. So if you wanna get a hold of us, ask any questions, get more information, sign up for us to come to your school, you can find us on social media. And you can also go to our website, maricopa.gov slash STEM. Slash STEM. Slash STEM.